what's going on guys back out here at the land today i know it's been a little bit since we filmed anything i took a little time off hung out with some family uh went and did a little hunting didn't kill anything but gonna try to try again uh, around christmas when we're visiting with the family but uh plus we hadn't really done anything out here at the land um just been it's been kind of raining a little bit on and off and that kind of thing so we just hadn't done a whole lot but today we do have a little project we're gonna get started on probably ain't gonna finish it today but we're gonna go ahead and get it going as uh eventually when we move over here i gotta have a place to put my stuff um i got a lot of i got a lot of junk ain't no easy way to say it and uh, i gotta figure out where i'm gonna put all this stuff so i'm gonna build a little makeshift shed like a little lean to and um you know have a place to at least keep you know golf cart lawnmower some of my tools that thing kind of out of the weather and have a little place to you know work on stuff when i need to so let me show y'all guys kind of what i got in mind so the end goal is all these woods and stuff you see right here I'm gonna have all that cleared i'm gonna build a shop right there there'll be a shop right here house right here and you know my driveway will come right through here but i'm not ready for that yet so what i'm thinking about doing is right over here in this corner kind of out of the way um where hopefully it won't be too bad of an eyesore i'm gonna build a little lean to a little shed or something um just something to put my stuff and you know have a little workspace nothing crazy probably gonna cut that stump right there and then just right here build me like a little 10 foot by 30 foot little lean to or shed or something nothing crazy just just something to put stuff and uh when we were doing all these tree cutting and everything y'all saw in the last video um as you can see there's a whole bunch of these real skinny i don't know what they are sweet gums or something and as we were cutting those to get access to all this we actually put all these to the side and that is what we're going to use to build our shed and uh I've got some bigger ones that we set to the side that we're gonna use as like our four corner post and that kind of thing. So we'll use those for the four corners and then the real skinny ones, you know, we'll use for the side just to have to screw some tin on and that kind of stuff. So that's the game plan. So fixing to get at it, start digging some holes. So y'all sit back, relax, grab you a snack and watch me work. Let's get after it. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see the pink string or not, but we got it all marked out. And what we got going on, we got us a 30 foot little shed we're going to make, 10 foot width, because I think that's all I'm going to need. And it's going to have three bays. So I went ahead, got, see the little nails, got it marked out 10 foot all the way across. So that way we have three different bays. I can use two to put stuff and one to work got our corners all square and everything so this is going to kind of be how big it is got it all plumb and square so now the next thing we're going to do is start digging holes so let's dig some holes Got all their holes dug. Had to do eight holes. See? Four across the front. Four across the back. Trees here we're going to use as posts. So now we're going to mark them, cut them where we need them. Start somewhere right here. Look at there. Paint marker. We use these at work. We need to measure 10 foot right there. All right. So what we're doing, we're measuring up 10 foot. That's two foot or so in the ground and eight foot above. 
And we're going to cut it. And that's going to be our post. So, chainsaw or sawzall? Chainsaw. Chainsaw it is. That may have been a dumb question, but. <coughs> oh. Let's see if she's got petroline. She's got petroline. She got some earl in her. She ain't got enough earl in her. Here. Let's put a little bit more in there just to make me happy. It ain't got a whole lot of oil in it. But. Yeah. The outside corner. Mm -hmm. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. The big ones on the outside, skinny ones on the inside. I can live with that. Alright. This chainsaw has been used in about two weeks or so. so hopefully. She's going to do me right trying to crank. Give her a couple of them pumps. All right. You want to try to lift it up for me? Fishing pole. <laughs> Fishing pole string wrapped around the shovel. We didn't call us a shovel. Safety splints. That's it. That's it. All right. Easy enough. Now, you ready? Oh, yeah. That right there can hold the house up. Good ah. Oh, shoo! Ain't gonna have to put no dirt in it. Man. I feel like that's a lot taller. Yeah, we're gonna cut them. Wow. I, I cut them slow. Okay. I didn't want to get it too short. Yeah, and no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Well, that's one. You want? We gonna put that one? On over there. All right. Poison ivy is everywhere. All these things. Good. All right. Let's go. All right. A paint pen comes in handy, don't it? All right. I'm thinking. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. 
Yeah. Just push it. Push down. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Well, no. We need to swap in. There you go. You take smart here. There. You got it on there? Ten foot. All right. Okay. Hey. Marker. Got him. All right, that'll be your front. Let's make it happen. Tell you what, this chainsaw has been a good purchase. Huh? So this chainsaw has been a good purchase. Yeah. All right. Wait a minute, let's rethink this. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to throw it to the side. All right, let's throw it to the side. Use a different one. Let's mark it. Mark it. Well, I guess we could just use them marks, huh? Okay. So we'll just do that. <clears throat> Uh, I guess you gotta turn it on. You gotta turn it on. There we go. You gotta turn Looks good. It works good when you turn it on. Right? Shovel. Yeah, I don't want no more poison ivy. I have had enough of the poison ivy. Well. Hmm. Well, that don't work very well. It's not moving. Well, crap. Might work better just to get a screwdriver. Good enough. You ready? <coughs> oh. Where the hell we go? All right. Last one for the front. <coughs> yeah. Huh. All right. 
front is done. We'll level them out and all that stuff here in just a second. You want me to get my level? Huh? Well, get our best shot. Well, right there is decent. It ain't got to be perfect. It's just temporary. We're going to do straighten it up once you do the header. Spring right there in that center, uh huh. And let it hang down, spring's gonna fall straight. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. huh? And yeah. yeah, I'll be the dirt guy. Okay. Yeah, they're being the loose, I reckon. this in here I need it to be semi kind of big what's that yep Like from the top? Uh -huh. Yeah. So cut them off? Yeah. That's where the crack is. I mean, we still go get it. We got time. Was there any over there that was feasible? Yeah, there's still a bunch over there we can use. We'll go over and get them. Let's get them. All right, front's done, guys. We're going to get some more posts and do the back. All right, you got us three more poles put on the back side. We're about to have all our posts up, and we'll be ready for the, for the beam across the top. This one right here is already marked. All right, let's cut her. <laughs> Cut it right there.
Three more posts cut. And ready to put up. Would you measure these at? Nine feet. Hmm. Why? They just look short. All right. I'll put them up. Oh man, ain't sharp enough. <coughs> Rubber. Rubber stone. And oh, she goes. Boom. I guess that is nine foot. It just seems short on the ground. Ready? <coughs> One more, and the posts are done. Ready? Get our pack and rake. Yeah. You stand it up where you want it. And we'll put some dirt around it. Yeah, I was really hoping you wouldn't be like, yeah, we got to get some concrete. Because I was like, man, I do not want to do that. The only thing I seen that I watched, yeah, I burned it. It was just post. I seen that too. Keep them rotten. Yeah. Well, it'll be all right. This thing ain't going to be here long enough to rot. If you have any problem, come out here with shovel and dig around it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be all right. Hey, what? One of them logs hit my foot. I was cutting it. Kind of hurt. All right. And boots wouldn't have done nothing either. <laughs> they ain't still tight. All right. Put some dirt in there. There you go. Looking like a frame of a shed yeah. that's the magic spot okay Just need to go that way son Well, 
as well. <laughs> yeah, just leave it there. <laughs> Now that, like, I. All right, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 I was going to do, here's my thought. I was going to do like two boards and have my 10 uh, that way. Cause, oh, run long way? No, have it like standing. Yeah. Yeah. Foot. Yeah. Because right. I didn't want to have an eight foot piece and then have to cut a two foot piece. Yeah. So I was going to have it going tall wise. All right. So, and you ain't got to put the 10 on now, but you can do it later. Yeah. All right. So you do it. We want to. So what I'm getting at, it's not going to cost you a dollar more for this to be eight foot back here. Yeah. And that to be. Unless you put eight foot. Okay. If you had an eight foot piece. Ten. Yeah. I will crawl. Uh huh. Eight foot can be about right there. Gonna have this much open space. Top. Yeah. Probably that range. What? Gonna have to have eight foot ten here. Yeah. It's gonna taper down to seven. Uh huh. You just have to cut the ends off. Yeah, that's fine. I was expecting that. A lot of cut. It'd be alright. Seven foot all the way across. Yeah. If you do an eight foot, you ain't got to cut none of this. Going across the back. And you leave that nine foot. So you're saying make this eight foot, that nine foot. Yeah. That's fine too. Now, that's what I was saying. But I'm, I'm, I'm having to rethink this. Uh, because it's going to. All right, guys. We got all our poles up. Now what we're doing is we're going to cut the tops, make the tops level, so that way when we go to put our header on at the top, it'll be somewhat level across the top. Safety squints engaged.
So, all right. Tops are cut. Let's get our beam. All right, guys. Back from lunch, we stopped, got us something to eat, took a break. Now we're back, fixing to cut a tree for a header. So that's the tree right there we're gonna cut. You can see it's big, tall, and straight to about right there. All we need is 30 feet. So that'll do it. So, let's drop it. They about done. Oh! All right. <laughs> Trying to go the wrong way. Here. Stick yo. Look. I'm going to put my saw back in there. You stick that in there. Go get that big old hammer. And we're going to knock it that way. Go get that big old sledge. She's trying to go the wrong way. So we're going to see if we can fix it before it falls. We're going to see if we can jam that hatchet in there. Kind of put some pressure on it that way. Maybe it'll fall that way. Ideally, it'll fall that way. Just so we don't... Somebody lives over there. Uh, I don't know if it'll reach their yard. May not reach their yard. But, uh... I don't feel like going over there and cleaning their yard up today so we're gonna see I think the wind's kind of messing with us Yes, sir. Now, help if I turn it on. <laughs> huh.
Samoa. There it goes. There it goes. All right. Mission accomplished. Now, let's measure 30 feet. Well, let's just see how far we can get out of her. It's probably going to have to be to about right here. What is that? They ain't going to get that. Yeah, let's just do 30 on this one. I need to cut this end off about right here because that end's kind of boogered up. That's 30? All right. Well, let me let me make this end cut and then we'll know where to cut it down there. See, we're going to have to cut it like right here because all this right here. Think we can get 30 on that one? All right. Now we got to find us another one. Got this top header over here. We got it up next to these poles. Then we're going to cut some notches. Notch it out. So maybe it'll sit halfway flush up there.
mine down. That was a flight. Alright.
Shoo. Yeah. I should have sharpened them, and I didn't. Because I thought we was probably going to be all right. Now, I don't know if it's a help or not. I did bring a Sawzall. Well, now that we got these cut out, you want to roll it away? Looking good. Now we just got to figure out how to get it up there. Okay. Well, guys, you see we got it all notched out. Got that one notched. Got that one notched right there. Got that one not. I'm about to have that one down there. And then we gotta figure out how we're gonna pick this thing up. So we're gonna figure that out. We got another one we're gonna drop for the back header. Oh, you guys ain't gonna get a good view of it because of the woods, but it is what it is. All right. What? Gonna hit him? Well, we'll cut the notch heading that way. <laughs> Just see what happens. All right, we're going to hit y'all, so we'll have to move you. It goes that way sometimes on these big jobs. Let's see here. All right, maybe out of the way this time. We'll see. I mean, they're going to hit you? Oh, I'm not.
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh -uh, yeah. All right, move out of the way. Move. I'll go get the tractor and I'm gonna leave it right here for you. Alright. I went and we're back. I went and got the tractor to lift this up so we wouldn't hurt our back. So he's gonna get it up there. And then we're gonna use the ladder and whatnot. And we're gonna nail her down with these big old nails. Hey. I right, go up some more. Too much. Too much. Tilt it back. Hold right there. Let me tighten these chains up. That was tight. You have to find that sweet spot. Huh? I gotta put my gloves on. <clears throat> All right, to go. I go up. Let's see. As you go up, yeah. Now go up. Up, 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 up. All right. Up, 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 up. As you go up, you just have to bump it. <laughs> <You just. laughs> Alright, up. Oh. Up, oh, up. Oh. Real slow. Alright. It needs to stay right there. Oh. 
Will it go higher? It, it ain't gonna roll back. Cause this it's on the edge of the front of the bucket. Alright. That's probably high enough. So you need to come forward. I'm gonna get this big ladder. this ladder here. If you could just go forward, I can handle it from there. Alright, now. This is a hair. If it, yeah. 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 There we go. Just stay right there. Don't move. Just stay right there. All right, guys, it's been about two or three hours since I last spoke to y'all. Um, we were starting to run out of daylight. It rained on us for a second, and I had some help today, as y'all seen, and I was my dad, and I was trying to hurry up. So I quit filming a little bit, but let me show y'all what we got done. So this is everything we got done. As you can see, we got our post up. We got our header on the front header on the back got all that stuff so all the heavy stuff set i went and got the tractor so we could do that so got all that stuff set and we can started putting the beans right here you see going across so we got a pretty good bit accomplished today i'm pretty i'm pretty proud of how much we got done we put 145 right there just kind of see what it looked like we're pretty much using all these ends right here that we cut to do that so as you can see it's getting dark so we're gonna call it a day and uh, i'll probably come back out here tomorrow and work on finish putting a couple of these up a couple of these these uh supports and uh, i'll bring you guys along so we'll see you tomorrow well guys i, I was hoping i wouldn't have to film this but uh day two never came <laughs> saturday after we got done working on the shed it came a bad thunderstorm Saturday night. Bunch of wind, real bad rain. Anyways, it got pretty muddy over here. And uh, so I ended up not finishing the shed. So you guys will have to stay tuned for part two, where hopefully I can get the shed finished or pretty close to finished. But uh, anyways, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time.